Good day Cobbers, this is Keith Cooks on Keith and today I'm going to show you how to make an Australian pie. And I apologise for my Australian accent, it was rubbish. However, the pie isn't. It's uh, Australian minced beef and cheese pie. And the story of this is back in Madrid a couple of years ago when I was making pies and supplying them to pubs. A guy who um, was a Kiwi in fact, but many of his uh, customers in his pub were Australians. And they had Australian Day coming up and he said to me, can you make Australian pies? I said, what are they? What's in them? He said, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, I researched the interwebs and I found minced beef and cheese pies, an amazing combination that I've never come across before, but really they are fantastic. So this is how you make them. Okay, ingredients for the fillings. I've got 250 grams of minced beef, a medium onion, and 400 mils of beef stock. I've also got a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of parsley, and probably about half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and cheese. Uh, 200 grams of strong cheese. This is mature cheddar and that needs to be grated. First thing to do is peel and chop the onion. I should have some stock footage of me doing this because I do it for nearly every savoury recipe. Now you need to heat up some fat in a frying pan. Normally I would use vegetable oil, but uh, I just happen to have some duck fat, so I'm using that. That'd be lovely. And throw in the onions to soften and brown a little bit. Okay, that's uh, looking good. So now we'll put the mince in. You want to break it into sort of smallish pieces, you don't want big chunks. So we need this to get browned all over. Okay, that's uh, pretty much brown all over. So we'll add the beef stock. Well, half a teaspoon of salt, the parsley and the pepper. Give those a good old stir and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, that's had about 15 minutes and I'm just gonna sift in some flour to thicken it up. Now we'll taste it. Okay, that's lovely. So I'll turn that off the heat and let it cool down till it's cooled completely before we put it in the pies. Now for the pastry, I'm going to use hot water pastry and it's very easy to make and very, uh, very sturdy and very tasty. And I don't think you can actually buy this in the shops. I've never seen it. If you don't want to make your own pastry, you can use short crust, but this is so easy. Why not do it? You need 500 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of lard, 250 milliliters of hot water, boiling water, and a teaspoon of salt. So first of all, you want to cut the lard into small chunks so they melt more quickly. And then pop the chunks of lard into a pan. Add the hot water. And just put this on medium heat until all the lard has melted in, into the water. You don't want to boil it particularly. Now add the salt to the flour and stir it in well. Now the lard's all melted, so I'm going to pour about half of this in with the flour and stir it in. Be careful with this because it is hot and you might burn yourself. Okay, that's all pretty much absorbed, so I'm going to put the rest in and stir that in. Okay, that's about as much as I can do with the spatula, so I'm going to tip it out onto the worktop and incorporate the rest of the flour by hand. Just kind of scrunch it all together until that flour is incorporated. We go, a nice smooth blob of pastry dough. Now I'm going to wrap this in plastic film and leave it to cool down to room temperature. 
Now I'm doing these as individual pies, so you will need some pie dishes. As it happens, I used to make pies and I've got dozens of these <laughs> that size. And the quantities that we've made will be enough for four pies. If you haven't got anything like this, go and get some cheap pies that come in foil tins and throw the cheap pies away and use the tins, yeah? Okay. Now to make the pies you need a few things. You need your pastry, that's about 500 grams. A beaten egg with some milk added, that's for glazing the pies. You need your, your pie tins, I've got four there. No, I've got five. Aha, special reason for that. I've um, got a big cutter to do the pastry for the bases. And I've got this bowl, which is going to be the cutter for the lids because it's pretty much exactly the right diameter. Also got a pastry brush and a little rolling pin. First thing to do is pop some flour into these. So I've got flour spread on the worktop and I'm going to take just under half the dough and roll it out for the lids. Put some flour on the rolling pin too. And we want this to be about four or five millimetres thick, about a quarter of an inch. Okay, that's about right. So we'll just cut four lids. So I'll just pop the lids onto a plate. I'll put that in the fridge to keep it cool. I've rolled out some more pastry for the bases and this will do too. And what we do is um, give that a good sprinkle of flour to help it not stick again. Lay it over a dish, take the next dish and press it down. You won't be able to do this with um, foil dishes, but this is what I do when I'm mass producing my handmade pies. Now to reveal the mystery of the fifth pie dish, it's to press down the last one and also to hold the pastry still while I trim around the edges of all four at the same time. Now you'll probably have some pastry left over so just squidge it all together and wrap it in plastic film and you can keep that, that'll keep in the fridge for about a week uh, or it freezes really well if you're not going to use it in that time. Now we're ready to build the pies. Uh, I've got the oven preheating to 220 degrees Celsius and I'm just going to grate this cheese. So we get our pastry cases and we want to fill them just over half full with the meat. Oh yeah, okay, that's more than half full, but anyway, I'm feeling generous. So now we want to put a big pile of cheese inside each one as well. And you know, the cheese will melt, so stack it up high. And there's a bit of cheese left over deliberately because we're going to garnish the top with that. Now get the lids out the fridge and pop one on top of each pie. Now I, I don't usually moisten the edge of these, this kind of pie. It, um, it sticks okay without that. But what I do do is use the spare dish to press it down pretty firmly and then crimp it together around the edge. And all we need to do now is paint some of the egg and milk glaze on the top. Final touch, a little sprinkling of cheese in the corner of each, well not really corner, but on, on the edge of each one. And they go in the oven to bake for about 25 minutes. Remember, no two ovens are alike, so keep checking uh, to make sure you don't burn them. Right, I think the pies are ready, so we will take them out. And look at that. Ooh, a couple of perfect steaming pies. Now, as with most baked goods, you have to let them cool down a bit. Uh, not least because the tin is stonkingly hot and you'll burn yourself if you try to get it out now. Okay, the wait is over so I can take the pie out of the tin. Mm. And let's cut him open. 
Haha, <laughs> look at that. Lovely, melty, melty cheese. And let's have a taste, shall we? Oh. Oh wow, um, it might sound weird, but oh, it is wonderful. So legend has it, these are served on the streets of Sydney and places like that, floating in mushy peas or pea soup and probably with a dollop of tomato ketchup on top. However, just on their own, they are magnificent. So try them. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.